Hello all, welcome back to Chris's Beer Reviews. Welcome back to Take One Million. I just can't seem to get this right. And I don't do editing, so I just have to try and do a video all in one take. And I just keep getting it wrong. So anyway, let's slow it down. Let's try again. So yeah, welcome back to Chris's Beer Reviews. And in today's video, we're reviewing one beer, but I'm gonna introduce you to four beers that are in this series. It's a series of beers from Brew York, and there's four in the series, and they're using cryo hops. And they say it's called, they say it says brewed with Cryo Pop Original Flavor Blend. These Cryo Hops come from Yakima Chief Hops and all the beers in this four series are 5.5%. And there is a like an order of how you should have them or a recommended order. And this is number one. This one's called Big Popper Pump, a Cryo Pop Pale Ale. As I say, coming in at 5.5%. There it is. And all these beers in this series are all related to American wrestlers. So cryo hops, I don't know how much you know about cryo hops. I knew very little. Um, I still probably do know very little, but what I'm gonna do is just give you a quick read off Yakima Chief Hops website about what cryo hops are. And it says, so I've got my laptop. It says cryo hops is the concentrated lupulin of whole leaf hops containing resins and aromatic oils. It is designed to provide intense hop flavor and aroma, enabling brewers to efficiently dose large quantities of alpha acids and oils without introducing astringent flavors of a astringent flavors or vegetative material. So yeah, as I said, there's four in the series. This one, the Big Popper Pop is used solely just using cryo pop. And then they start introducing other hops, different hops. So number two in the series is Sweet Chinook Music, and this one's Cryo Pop and Chinook, parallel, 5.5%. They're all 5.5%. Uh, number three is Scotty Too Hoppy, which is Cryo Pop and Idaho 7. So there's all of that can. And then the fourth and final one in the series is the Thundertaker, which is Cryo Pop and Talus parallel. So they've all all got different types of hops other than the first one which is just using the cryo pop i picked these up from uh, trembling madness it was 16 pounds for the four and if you go on brew york's website you should get a booklet with it um, explaining everything about it all but i didn't get that from trembling madness i don't know if it was an error or or whatever but i didn't get it but anyway let's crack on let's crack on and get this one out get us get her in a glass see how she looks how she sniffs and how she tastes so cryo hops, my, my knowledge of cryo hops is, is quite small. And it was, I only really started reading about them when I saw these beers on Trembling Madness. So in she goes. Good stuff, I'll pop that one on there. Hopefully you can see that one okay. Let's have a look at her in the glass then. Um, it's definitely, it is hazy, um, but it, it's not super hazy. It's a parallel, so yeah, you can I can see my fingers through it. It oh, there is a bit of an orangey colour to it, but it, the main body in here looks a bit a bit dirty. It looks about as inviting as dishwater. That does it doesn't look particularly pleasant on the main body. Down here it looks <laughs> looks alright, but in the main body it looks a bit it looks a bit dirty. Lots of carbonation going on. No particular head to talk about. In fact, no head at all. So let's see how she snips. <sighs> I'm struggling on that. There is an aroma. There is an aroma, but I can't tell you what it is. It's got to, uh, there's an orange to it. It's got like an orangey concentrate aroma. I've just realised I haven't got the light on in here, so I hope the light isn't too bad. Um, head's gone. I'm struggling with that aroma. Um, I'm not going to say there's things in there that I can't smell. It's It smells like a, a tropical 
fruit concentrate when you can smell that sort of sweetness of the concentrate can't really pick out any aromas of any individual fruits but it's just got that type of smell that's what that reminds me of so i'm just going to crack on and see how she tastes cheers Oh my god that's thin oh that's thin and watery oh. coconut coconut lots of coconut i'm picking up coconut and a lot of it with some fruit juice behind it. Carbonation's okay. What does it say on this? Oh, I've got no chance of reading that. Let's give it a go. I've got no glasses on. Oh, I can't read that. That. The colour of the font, the size of the font, and the colour of the label behind it, that is ridiculous to try and read. Uh, but it does have the usual spiderweb on the back that you get from Brew York that I really like. Mouthfeel's not big on the spiderweb hop it hits the right outside saying it's very hoppy it's not it's not bitter it's got no malt to it um i don't like it <laughs> i don't like it if i'm completely honest I, I can't pick anything out of that other than coconut it's thin it's watery it's fizzy it's coconut coconut with a fruit squash backing it up but I can't pick out the the individual fruit flavors on that uh, I don't like that I'm not keen I like brew York they make cracking beers but this isn't a cracking beer for me I mean just look at the color of it I don't know how well that shows up on your screen but it's not a good looking beer no head retention and all I'm getting is coconut coconut with a fruit concentrate type juice backing it up with maybe the minutest of bit of finishes coconut <laughs> said it once said it a million times coconut that's all i've got to say on that i don't like it i don't think that's a very good beer uh, I, look, I do look for i'm still going to look forward to the other ones because it's got the cryo hops with other hops so i'm hoping that's going to give the others a bit more of a, a flavor a bit more of a body whatever uh, but that's very very disappointing would i recommend it i probably wouldn't no i wouldn't recommend it i don't like it it's not for me i'm all done i'll see you on the next one thank you very much for watching take care bye now